victims of separate conflicts in two different countries with one thing in common, the struggle to survive. This man says there are 2,000 people in this line with only one person to register us. The cold is the biggest enemy right now, yet they have to queue most of the day for winter fuel. We stay in line from 8 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, just for 10 liters of fuel. We are freezing to death. Some call it a prison, but this is Al Hol camp in Al Hasake, a Kurdish part of Syria. Amsha Jaloud is among the thousands who fled from Iraq. She suffers from a serious medical condition affecting her thyroid gland. Her husband shows her health records, saying even with ISIL's presence in Mosul, she had the right specialist treatment. Now he fears her life is in danger. The doctor said she needs to be in a private clean room, without any smoke or dust. And here in the camp we cannot find this condition. She's really suffering now. Omar Brimo's Syrian home was destroyed in a bombing. His savings were spent paying smugglers to try to get to Turkey. But he's been sent back and now he's living like this. <coughs> he's sick with a nervous complaint and diabetes. I can't get my medicine. My health is getting worse. We're stuck here. If I was in Turkey, Iraq or Lebanon, it would be their right to put me in a camp, but not here in Syria. This is our country. He isn't the only one accusing the Kurdish local authority that runs this camp of restricting the movements of people. Some Syrians and all Iraqis aren't allowed out to find work or move elsewhere unless they provide proof of sponsors at their destinations. These people say they deserve much better. A spokesman for the UNHCR, the United Nations Refugee Agency, which services the camp, said he would look into the issues we've raised. He said there were three non-government organizations dealing in medical matters based on the site and serious cases could be referred to a nearby hospital. On the issue of movement restrictions, he said the Iraqis were affected by this, but stressed that security considerations applied to everyone in the camp. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep.